channel again we are back on our town hall 15 and you are just seeing right guys today i am just again coming with a brand new stars base and you guys can see that that account is on global 40 and uh, i'm sharing with you guys stars this base layout guys with proof so first of all just check out the attack uh already did by my friend guys you can see that and uh <clears throat> yeah so I'm sharing with you that base and that base is definitely working very well. I tried in some times in a friendly challenges and it's hard to get down. And there are few things that interesting in this base. So must watch the full video because we are sharing the particularly base defending CC within within the video. So must watch the full video till then and, and without wasting any time, let's dive into the base guys. Here we go. You guys can see over here the base of stars guys that base used by star and it's kind of a box base but it's not a proper fully box base but it's a uh, like of complicated because the town hall is exposed and uh, uh, earlier you guys can see a uh, lots of trap in a town hall compartment with two skeleton trap giant bomb uh, spinning trap some black mines and just outside the Town hall compartment. Uh, there are few defenses placement over here with a uh, Wiz Tower, two hidden Tesla cannon, builder hut, and a uh, giant bomb, red bomb with a two hidden Tesla outside the wall. And in this corner of side, you guys can see lots of bomb and spinning traps for betting flame flinger lots of time and also betting a uh, super goblin type of attack. Uh, maybe some people are just trying to get down the town hall with a uh, blimp on a super uh, goblin. So it's kind of a uh, interesting combination for spinning trap is a both side and lots of bomb in a both side left and right side on a town hall compartment and let's talk about the town hall compartment mainly we placed over two exbos two motor two builder hut with the two heroes in the town hall compartment one king and a grand warden in the town hall compartment with some kind of a trap like i already said you and in the back side of a town hall compartment there are interesting spell tower placement guys there are two spell tower on a rage mode and both of rage tower giving you a lot of value guys so some kind of you guys know already about uh electro dragon space is pretty pretty much uh, uh in a legend league so lots of people are just doing jab on a one spell tower and a monolith side and just get down that base but there are a two rage tower so might be opponent can destroy a uh, one spell tower with a jab but still second rage tower is also giving lots of damage guys just take out a rage tower range guys so first they were rage tower is just backside the town hall you guys can see a rage uh, two x bows multi inferno monolith with a town hall under rage with a clan castle if clan castle lure in this rage area so clan castle troop is also rage so just check out the rage tower ability guys it's kindly overpowered and the second rage tower is the back side of the base uh, from here you guys can see again two multi inferno two exbo two builder hurt two hidden tesla eagle artillery in a rage range so it's again overpowered so yeah guys rage tower is more powerful definitely poison is just slow down the troop but rage tower is giving hit on queen charge so definitely if opponent trying some kind of a queen charge on a town also rage tower is giving lots of value to you guys so definitely that base is truly strong and let's talk about the center of the base we played over monolith multi inferno eagle artillery clan card cell with four red bomb in the middle compartment and in the left and right side we placed over two air sweeper and uh, some storage and uh, uh, dark laser collector and over here one rate tower with two x bomb multi inferno two builder at two red bomb and let's go on the corner of the base with one multi inferno and tornado trap placement with two hidden tesla two bomb tower and outside the ball compartment we place two cannon two giant bomb two black mines also so it's kind of a center base let's talk about uh, 12 o'clock compartment in the corner side we place one spinning trap to archer tower in and tesla and uh air defense and let's move down towards this side one cannon again outside the wall compartment there are few boxes with a multi motor archer tower and in the more deeper in the compartment we place over this uh, tower scatter shot and a skeleton trap and a queen and in the three o'clock side corner we place one multi cannon with tower air defense archer tower outside the wall 
एंड लेट्स मूव इन टू सिक्स ओ क्लॉक साइड अगेन एयर डिफेंस आर्चर टावर कैनन वेस्ट टावर विद सम बॉम्ब जॉइंट बॉम आई ऑलरेडी टेल अबाउट इट एंड अगेन हियर वी गो टू डिफेंसेज इन अ बॉक्स लाइक आर्चर टावर मोटार वन कैनन आउटसाइड द बॉल एंड इनर कंपार्टमेंट भी प्लेस स्कैटर शॉट विस्ट टावर एंड रॉयल चैंपियन विद वन मोर स्केलेटन ट्रैप एंड इन नाइन ओ क्लॉक साइड कंपार्टमेंट इन द कॉर्नर ऑफ द बेस भी प्लेस टू आर्स एट टावर जाइंट बॉम्ब एंड एयर डिफेंस विद स्पिनिंग ट्रैप so pretty much for that base and that base is huge box base and definitely giving you a lots of value guys let me show you the scout view of the base here we go total overall clean path of that base without any trap so just check out if opponent is just trying to approach the base so guys flame flinger is totally baited from all the side because uh, one expo placement over here second over here third over here fourth over here so it's definitely If opponent is just trying to take a uh, one side from a flame flinger, so it's hard because four expo is uh, targeting and uh, opponent flame flinger didn't get that much value, guys. They can destroy a few buildings, but not much. So definitely a plus point in this base. And currently, uh, in a legend league, you guys know flame flinger is quite trending. So that type of base is giving you a lots of value in a legend league. And if you want to use in your war CWL as well. that box base is huge and let's talk about the important thing uh defending war cc what type of cc do you need in this base so i'm suggesting you to use the three ice golem five archer combination working very well because they freeze the army from a long time and when rage tower is going rage all the defenses and opponent army gonna stuck so opponent uh, attacker must use lots of spell on this type of compartment so you will get a better value in your defense so my suggestion is that just use three eyes golem and some archer in your cc and you will quite well and let me show you the walls of that base here we go the total wall guys you guys can see over here on a uh, a uh, four o'clock on, on a uh, all the clock of sides like a uh, 12 3 6 9 there are few open wall pathing and uh, on a town hall compartment two open wall pathing in a left and right side and on the corner on a 12 o'clock side already there are two open wall passing here also with open wall passing is just confusing opponent troop to create a path it's hard to get funnel in that type of bases so you will get a better value i hope you like that base if you like just uh, hit the like on this video and make sure to hit that subscribe button because we are sharing that type of amazing trending in a brand new bases for you guys and just check out the subscriber count we are very close to complete 40k subscriber family hit that subscribe button and definitely i am sharing lots of legend cwl bases so hit that subscribe button press the bell icon meet you in the next video when i stay clash i love you all and base link provided in the description easily go and copy and enjoy the base meet you in the next video bye bye